In the last video, we saw how Dijkstra's algorithm works. In this video, let's solve a question. And this is the paper code if anyone is curious. And let's get started. So guys, this is the question. It asks us to calculate the distance between the bays and each of the other towns in the diagram. We have to show our working and write the answers in this table below. All right, let's get started. First, um, we would give the value of zero to the base and the rest would have the value of infinity. So once we have initialized those values, for our own reference, let's put down a table that we'll call nodes and values and a list which would be the list of process nodes. Okay. So now, uh, let's, in nodes, we'll put down base. Base has a value of zero, down one, two, three, four, five, and six. Each of these are infinity at the moment. So first we look at the towns that are directly connected to the base. These would be town one, three, and two. And let's update these values since the node that we start with is the base. So we'll put down the value for town one as four, town two, as, town two as five, and town three as two. So I'm just going to update these in the diagram as well. Next, we look at the town with the least value among these. Uh, that's our base in the list of process nodes. So the next town with the least value would be town three. All right, let's see what all nodes are connected to town three. So we have town one, which is connected and town five. Let's update the values for each of these. So for town one, we would add two plus one. So if you were to go through town three to town one, that would be taking a distance of two and then adding it to one, it will give us three. Now three is lower than the value that we have currently, which is four. So we'll update this value. Great. We have a shorter path now, which leads to town one. And for town five, we have a new value, which is two plus one, three. So let's put this down as three. Next, we look at the towns with the least value. Um, after adding town three to the list of process nodes. So these would be either town one or town five. Let's just select town one to begin with. Um, town one is directly connected to base, town three and town four. Base and town three are already updated. So let's just look at town four. So if you were to go to town four via town one, that would be three plus seven, uh, which would give us a value of 10. Since we don't have a value currently, let's update that value. Now, since we've booked on town one, let's put that in the list of process nodes and look at the next town with the least value. That would be town five indeed. So town five is directly connected to town four, three, two, and six. So if you were to go to town four, um, via town five, let me just update this value for town five, which is three. That would be three plus six, nine. And the current value that we have for town four, which you, you could see over here is 10. So the more practical approach would be going from town five to town four. So we have a new lower value, three plus six, nine. So let's update that. All right. Now, if we were to go to town six via town five, that would be five plus three, which is eight. Let's update this value as well. And now um, what we have left is town three, which is already processed though. So let's not look at that and town two. So if we were to go to town two via town five, that would be three plus three, six. But this is higher than the value we have here, which is five. So we don't update that. All right. So it seems like we have processed town five as well. So town, let's just mark the nodes over here which are already updated that would be base down three down one and down five now we clearly know that only two four and six are left 
Now between 2, 4 and 6, 2 down 2 has the least value. So let's update down the nodes that are directly connected to town 2. So that would be town 5 and town 6. Town 5 is already updated, so we don't need to update that. But town 6 is something that we can look at. So if we were to go to town 6 via town 2, we'd have to travel 5 plus 8, 13. But our value for town 6 is already lower than that, which is 8. So we don't need to update this as well. And basically, yep, we are done with town 2. And we can add that to the list of process nodes. Now, uh, let's look at whatever is left. Town 4 and 6 is left. And between town 4 and town 6, town 6 has the lower value. Let's look at all the nodes that are directly connected to town 6. That's town 2 which is updated and town 5 which is also updated no need to look at it once again so town 6 is also processed and now we have town 4 left which would actually since it's the last node we can already consider it processed but just for formality let's look at it as well Town 4 is directly connected to Town 1 and Town 5. And since both of these are updated, uh, processed actually, um, we don't need to look, update anything else now. So we can directly add Town 4 to our list of process nodes. Let's put it down. And now the whole table, the whole diagram is, we're done with it. We're done with all of our working and we can now just simply put in our answers. So base uh, would have a value of zero, but we're not asked to update that. Town one has the value of three, put that down. Town two has the value of five. Town three has the value of two. Town four has the value of nine. And town five has the value of three and town six has the value of eight. So this is our final answer, three, five, two, nine, three, eight. Now, I've already shown all of the working that needs to be shown over here to get all the five marks. If you still want to confirm it, um, let's look at the marking scheme. So guys, this is the marking scheme. And as you can see, the answers are correct. Three, five, two, nine, three, and eight. And you can go through all of the rest of the points as well. If you think I've missed something, uh, let me know.